For today's cup of coffee, we have more aliens, more UFOs. I've got kid with another migraine. God love him. Bye. Yeah, so he's he's sort of on the sideline there. This comes from Daily Mail by Claudia Aora. I think that's how you pronounce that. June 26th of 2023. Another unidentified object in the sky has been spotted flying over Las Vegas weeks after a family claimed 10-foot aliens with large shiny eyes were in their backyard and police footage filmed a strange light in the sky. Two beams of light can be see in the sky, seen in the sky hovering next to one another in the new clip that was posted on social media. It was filmed on Wednesday, June the 22nd. We were just talking about the 11s and the 22s at 10.30 p.m. over Las Vegas. The unidentified objects were in the sky for 20 minutes straight, according to the person who filmed it. And a second local resident then posted an image of their view on Thursday night, showing two interlocking white circular beams of light in the sky. Some people online uh, speculated that it could have been the planet Venus lighting up the sky, but others claimed that it may be something else, considering the recent activity in Las Vegas. And if it were Venus, it looks like that could be very easily, you know, either confirmed or died uh -huh. because planets they you know they're sort of set in motion on those things they don't appear randomly over the weekend a green fireball believed to be a meteor was spotted falling from the sky by residents in san diego tucson and las vegas meanwhile the las vegas ufo mystery has deepened and after police installed high-tech cameras outside the home where residents reported seeing 10-foot aliens with large shiny eyes in their backyard. Doug Papa, a former police officer who has been following the story of the mysterious object falling from the sky from April the 30th, said it baffled him why the Las Vegas Metro... Blah, 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 blah. Why the Las Vegas Metro Police Department placed surveillance cameras outside. He interviewed the family who made the call, and they told him that the cops installed the camera to protect them from UFO fanatics who might bother them. You know, that's sad. That's sad that you would have to put a surveillance camera up to prevent somebody from going in your backyard because you've had some kind of sighting. Yeah. Uh, the world we live in now. It says, despite being skeptical, Papa, who is a podcaster, said he now believes the family is somewhat credible. Somewhat credible. So he's, had, he's rethought that. A Vegas officer's body cam picked up the object at about 11.50 p.m. on April the 30th after a resident reported something, quote, 100% not human, end quote, on the property. Local TV channel 8 News Now reported the foot footage shows a bright blue ball of light traveling across the dark sky at speed. And approximately 39 minutes after the first call, another resident contacted 911, saying that there were two unknown entities in his backyard after he saw an object fall from the sky and the homeowner told police in audio obtained by the tv channel quote there's like an eight foot person beside it and another one is inside us something they couldn't understand and it has big eyes and it's looking at us and it's still there end quote yeah, that could be kind of horrifying. During the initial 911 phone call about the alleged UFO and alien sighting, the caller said, quote, in my backyard, I swear to God, this is not a joke. This is actual. We're terrified. They're very large. They're like eight foot, nine foot, 10 foot. They look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes. Like I can't explain it. And big mouth. They're shiny eyes and they're not human. They're 100% not human, end quote. The responding officers expressed their trepidation at the odd events. One officer can be heard telling his partner, quote, I'm so nervous right now. I don't, I have butterflies, bro. I saw a shooting star and now these people say there's aliens in their backyard. 
End quote. Now, when you got nervous police officers, that's not good. No. That's never good. And one of the reported witnesses had said to police, quote, I don't believe in it, but what I saw right now, I do believe in it, end quote. Whatever the it was, the aliens or the UFO or something. Yeah. And the area of the alleged sighting was searched and the witnesses interviewed, but no new information was found. And I did... Of course, I'm sure a lot of people have seen the little YouTube or TikTok or whatever it was the kid that saw the aliens had made. And it makes you wonder, it's like, okay, maybe this just was a hoax or something. But the amount of trouble that somebody could get in for pulling a hoax like that, even kids have got more sense and that his father was in on it. And we watch a YouTube channel. It's called Some Ordinary Gamers. And Mudahar, uh, he had a video that was called Following Up on the Massive UFO Slash Alien Evidence. And I'll leave a link to that, plus the article I just uh, read. And he had footage from the backyard of the family who said that they saw the aliens. And that aliens were supposedly, that was when they were supposedly there and that they were hiding behind some of the heavy equipment. But the footage was not clear, and you weren't sure if some of the things that they were saying was the alien's head, was the light, or shadows, or something like that. And I don't know where he got the footage from. I don't know if it was TikTok or Twitter or something like that. He didn't credit his source, so I just, you know, you can go through there and look at his video about it. So, I don't know. Uh, and I think that whatever this is, uh, it's, it's, and yeah, it is attention getting. I, I understand that. But after listening to Stephen Greer's uh, seminar, his, his news thing more than once, because there's stuff I missed in it the first time around. Yeah. I mean, it's really, yeah, there's, there's shit going on. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of shit being exposed right now. And that as far as these governments and stuff and they doing stuff, which was the basis of Stephen Greer and the fact that there was a time frame on what he had said. Yeah. That, that was concerning. And when you go back and listen to it more than once, it, it's concerning. It really is. Don't. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying. Well, that's why I try to keep. That's why I didn't show you the the Stephen Greer thing, kid. And this the, the aliens, because he had this really weird dream, and that's about aliens, and it's bothered him greatly. So that's why I just putting him on the sidelines till he can get his headache under control and everything else. So let us know what you think. If you've heard uh, other people talking about the aliens, I, I don't. In today's world, like I said, where, when you make a false report, there's some serious repercussions. It's not just a, oh, don't do that again. You know, you can have like charges filed on you or you can have a bill for uh, police time that you took them away from their job and all that stuff. Yeah. I can't see, kids are kids, but uh, as tech savvy as people are today, they knew that somebody somewhere would call their hand on it if they had faked it. Yeah. So maybe there's more to it than I thought that there was I at mean, first. Technology where they can, like, mask it. Right. But they, so. I mean, they were there when the cops arrived, the whole family. And so it wasn't a matter of trying to mask it and... Yeah. When I'm saying mask it, like they're, it's photo editing. It's it's video editing. Right. Well, I don't. Yeah. Masking I, is when you're layering stuff and and you're overlaying it. Right. So it's like masking is also green screening in a way. Yeah, but they're not going to. I don't think the cops would have partaken in that. So. Paid actors. Well, that's true. It could have been some kind of a sob. That is, that is absolutely true. The news does it all the fucking time. Absolutely, the news does it all the time, and especially right now. For years. Mm -hmm. 
So we don't. We don't know. We don't know what is a false flag anymore or whatever. So everybody sit back, take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Watch deep SpongeBob. Breath. I'm about to smack y'all's asses <laughs> if I don't take a deep breath. Watch you some SpongeBob. Turn off the psyop. Yeah. I, for a fact, know that God approves of the early versions of SpongeBob. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there you go. Pure. Yeah. It was just pure joy. It was pure. Did you know they were actually cussing in that sailor mouth? Episode? Yeah. So you showed me that. <laughs> the one where they had the word enhancers, yeah. the sentence enhancers. I use those sentence enhancers Mr. frequently. Clancy. Mr. Clancy, who, who does SpongeBob, who not, doesn't do SpongeBob, who does Mr. Krabs, uh -huh. he's the one that was like, I'm all for cussing. Because <laughs> of course he was. Oh, I think Tom Kenny is have you seen brilliant. Work? No, I haven't. Oh my God. I'll have you to have, look at that. Well, I may have. Him, but it's just like, you wouldn't recognize him. Okay. But when you hear his voice, you're like, Mr. Krabs. Like I said, Tom Kenny is an amazing voice actor and it, he has done the voices of many characters and you can't tell that it's him. He's one of the few people that I have ever heard that you're like, damn, that was him that did that voice. It's incredible. So focus on that. If you want to focus on the, yeah, let's focus on SpongeBob. That's yeah. the best for all of us right now to help, help each other, keep each other sane. Yeah. If you've had experiences with the paranormal, supernatural encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, it's only going to get ramped up, folks. I will tell you that. It's going to be a minute. I mean, as far as, like, months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, share, comment, subscribe, email, cup of coffee with scream, gmail.com. Yes. And we will pray one for another. Know that yeah. you're loved. Know that you are loved. <laughs> yes. I did say that. I threw that in there somewhere. My consumption of coffee has increased like threefold, and I don't know why. I'm telling you, it's a basic it food group. Now. <laughs> it's just like, it's a basic need, and I'm low on whatever it is. I'm low on the coffee beans. So that's, I mean, honest to God, I have gone from like two or three cups a day up to like six to nine. So, hmm. Lord willing, we'll see you on the next cup. Uh -huh. Coffee.